Right, so we just do the front garden now as well because quite a bit's happened in here. Um, I've worked quite hard on it. Um, it's the red robin. <laughs> Looks amazing. I got rid of the lavender in there because it was just in the way really. I put some seed, grass seed down and I moved the lavender over there. Um, but in this bed we've got a uh, balm of Gilead which loves it under there. Look at it. It's wild. Little first. Um, and then this is thyme, which again loves it under there. Um, wood avings, which I do let go there, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cut them off before they go to seed this year because they're just gone rampant. More of this little viola. Um, so there's various. I mean, I let the um, Dandelions come up in here, there's some amazing um, plantain leaves there. They're coming up really well, they can be used now. We've got all this, this bed's got loads of raspberry in. And then this is a pear tree. Okay, some nice pollinating plants. Um, the long walk there. It's a rowan, isn't it? Oh. Um, so I've got this other lavender over here. Um, that's speedwell, which is lovely. That makes good ground cover. I'm just going to leave that there. Bee balm comes up here somewhere as well. I'll leave that to come up. There's more pot marigolds. <laughs> um, that's um, ragwort, look leave to come up as well. This is yarrow which I know I can be harvesting now but I'm not an experienced yarrow user. I need to do some research on that first. Oh that's our yule tree. We'll keep it for next year. There's still a few strawberries in here. This is where I moved them from which is not really a great position for them and um, the cats poo here so yeah. Hmm. I'm running out of viable space to grow stuff. That's an apple, yeah. It's not really in the right position, but I haven't really got anywhere else to put it. That's a lovely yellow rose. And um, the butterfly bush. So I'll put this sage in here, which again, because the cats are about, it's not ideal, but I'm genuinely running out of space. <laughs> um, and that's the other, because I split the comfrey. That's the rest of the comfrey. There's a lovely little fern that popped up here. I also put some horseradish in because this soil's a bit hardcore, so I'm um, trying to break it up a bit. Um, and then this is uh, this rowan just popped up. Look, and get berries off that this year. And this hazel just popped up. I uh, should get there's a few nuts on it last year. And we get more nettle up the back. Um, and yeah, so I don't harvest from this side at all. I can't because of the I think I said on the other shows, but we've got the um, other, forget, forget what I'm doing, shows, videos, whatever. Um, that's the elder that just popped up and then it's just just leave all the natives to go under here more than anything. We've got skimmia. That's done leaves rather than flowers this year. And the ivy. Herb Robert. It's another butterfly bush. Oh, I put a big patch of lemon balm in here. It's had a bit of a shock. It's still alive, though. It will take eventually. Um, that's the pussy willow. And then, yeah, I get more nettle. Oops, more nettle down here. And then I've got the hydrangea in at the end. Oh, yeah. Looking pretty good.